Wesley Bradshaw, Bradshaw Building Specialties in North Vernon, Indiana, contacted Advanced Repair Technology with interest in using our FlexTech HV on a project in nearby Scipio, Indiana. Wes's company is a commercial contracting firm with many projects throughout the North Vernon area. Some of their projects have included the courthouse and a local Carnegie library, one of many built throughout the country in the early 1900s by Andrew Carnegie. Wes wanted to certify his crew in the proper techniques for use of Advanced Repair Technologies' epoxy repair system. The project for which he was interested in using the FlexTech HV was a covered bridge on the National Register of Historic Places. The renovation of the bridge was to be funded through grants, and the state of Indiana required the team to be certified in the use of the repair compound. The certification program began with an overview of ART's FlexTech HV epoxy repair system. With the technical aspects explained, the next part of the program involved a hands-on demonstration, beginning with the proper surface preparation. The importance of bringing the repair down to solid wood fibers and routing cracks out to at least a quarter of an inch was highlighted. Techniques using routers and other tools were shown. Next, the primatry application was explained, along with the importance of creating a strong bond between the flex tech and the wood fibers. So, primatry app. Wes's crew then learned and practiced thoroughly mixing the epoxy and tinting it with Art's dry powder pigment. You can either tint the entire batch that you're mixing, or like Craig was saying earlier too, you could also do the majority of top the quarter. fill without any tinting and then finish off like the top quarter inch with tint. Well, I would think in our app on the bridge, so what I would see us doing is uh, and I'm thinking from a production standpoint of view. Filling. Filling, filling, it. filling with the tube. Yeah, and then coloring it. Finally, they used Art's heavy-duty dual-tube gun in conjunction with a static mixing nozzle to get a feel for how this combination could help them repair the cracks in the bridge quickly and efficiently. With the certification finished, Wes took our crew to see the project firsthand. We spoke with Wes on site a little bit about the unique challenges that this bridge presented. Hi, I'm Wesley Bradshaw with Bradshaw Building Specialties in North Vernon, Indiana. Uh, we are at the Scipio Covered Bridge in Scipio, Indiana, where we are getting ready to do a renovation and a rehab on this bridge. It was built somewhere in the 1860s. The, the bridge has had damage from uh, semis using their GPS to, as a shortcut to my right. Uh, they have built a new bridge to uh, help lower the impact and the toll on this bridge. This project here we're going to be replacing all of the siding. Uh, we're going to be doing a structural timber repair using the FlexTech product. We have approximately uh, 75 repairs to do on this bridge. Again, the bridge was built in the 1860s. It is a Howe truss design. The bridge is a, between uh, 155 to 160 feet uh, in length. It's going to be a pretty extensive renovation from the roof, uh, again, to siding, to deck. The project will take us approximately five to six months during the course of construction and uh, should be done sometime in the fall of uh, 2015. The specifications for uh, this bridge called for an epoxy uh, injection product. 
we went looking on the internet, we looked at several different products, we called several different suppliers, and uh, just really liked what the FlexTech product had to offer, uh, the ease of use, uh, the high compressive and uh, tensile strengths. It was higher than uh, even some of the other uh, epoxy uh, systems that we've seen using pumps. We are going to be repairing some deteriorated uh, timbers, braces. We are going to be repairing cracks where the timbers have dried out over the years and, and have split. Yeah, we found the product online and we had again looked at several products. Uh, we called several different uh, companies that were selling an epoxy injection and we were just uh, impressed with all of the strengths and the ease of use of the, the FlexTech product. This is a federally funded project where there is matching funds from the county, the balance is put in by NDOT. NDOT is uh, Indiana Department of Transportation. This bridge is on the historical uh, register. There are two covered bridges in, in this particular county. The other one has been restored uh, already, but this is the last one to do.